Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 6 of Oxygen Not Included. So, here we go. Last episode I made a couple blunders. These toilets, at least, don't need electric or electricity. So, oh, we gotta go ahead and play. Yeah, there we go. Okay, everybody's back to working. So yeah, so the toilets don't need electricity. Um, I made that clear in the last video, but I don't know why I said they needed electricity when they already used them when they weren't connected. Anyways, so I still want to get rid of this big old pit of urine. And there's our little friend over there, puffed. Yeah, he's creepy looking. But yeah, we'll go ahead and get this cleared up. We'll clean up this uh, sewage stuff. Oh, tips. I actually did not know about any of this. Um, hmm. And, okay, so what is going on with this guy? Why does he build with like a, a green thing? I don't know what's going on with them, but anyways, let's go ahead and check how the research is doing. Research. So there we go, one out of 20. I don't know how it's going up, but it is, and it is selected, so we're good there. Over here, I have uh, turned these into seeds. They have not been harvested though, so. I want to get them to harvest. No, don't destroy. Dig? Do I make them dig? Maybe because storage is full. That could possibly be it. Well, I guess I'll get to that another time. Anyways, so first things first, I want to fix all this. So I can't quite make airflow tile yet. This is what I'm working on right now. This is why I got the research in the first place. Requires gas piping research. Oh, wait, are they helping the research along or are they building it? I really don't know what's going on with these people and they're, are they fixing things? What is going on with that green fog? So as you may know already, I'm not really looking things up about this game. Early on, I looked up a couple stuff cause I was close to giving up. I just really didn't know what to do. Uh, some of the environments are, are pretty harsh, even just around your base. Um, Basically the air. The air is pretty tough. Um, but there's ways to fix it and help your people out. So that's all I looked up pretty much. The rest of the stuff that's going on, I really don't know what's going on. I don't know what I don't know what's with puffed over here. I don't know what's oop, do I okay. I don't know what's blah, 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 blah. So basically yeah, I'm just trying to figure out everything on my own. Or just most of it anyway, just because that's how I have more fun in games. It's, to me, it's not really looking everything up before you do something. Unless it's really difficult. Then at that point, it's pretty much worth it to look it up. And I didn't know this, but uh, hey. When you move the screen around, you see a little shininess on the rocks and that is how you know which has metal. Perfect, copper, copper. I'm guessing that's all copper, that just looks like copper. Kind of looks silver, but anyways. There we go, more copper. Gold, Alma, Alma Gam. Now they're just making stuff up. Maybe it's real, I don't know. Okay, so I'm waiting on research. They have not dug out all of this stuff up here. So, okay, unreachable dig. So why have they not dig out this yet? I guess they're just really busy. Okay, we do have a fourth member. Oh, Stu, there he is. Hey, how's it going, Stu? Stu still has soggy feet, like I believe the rest of them do. Grimy and soggy feet. Okay, if they're grimy, don't they need showers? Utilities, I'm guessing. No, it's a space heater. Plumbing? Um, no. Station, maybe a cleaning station? No, medicine, does it have anything to do with it? A wash basin, of course. Do they take a shower in this thing? All right, let me go ahead and claim this territory as actual ground. Go to tile, select there, put that there. And when that is done, there will be a wash basin. Wa wash, wash basin, goodness gracious. There will be a wash basin over there. And that's that. Furniture. Furniture also, I think, was an important factor. Um, I mean, they even have it in the game, but 
I believe it just helps with them and their feel for their environment. But, okay, so stuff is just amassing itself around. Storage has to be full. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on here. So, go back to not base. Oh, wait. Yeah, space. Storage compactor. Um, I don't know what these numbers mean. Set priority level for the currently selected object. Is this just the storage compactor? Okay, well, I'll, I'll leave that alone for now because that's going to start getting confusing if I change the priorities of everything. Although, research is pretty important, so whatever they got to do to make it more important with the 9, it's going to stay at 9. And I'm not completely sure why uh, they're just massing stuff on the floor because from the, the storage compactor, it looks like it has more space, I'm guessing, by these lines. And everybody's falling asleep again. So we'll go ahead and fast forward through the night, get them through that. <laughs> Just fell asleep right outside the bathroom. In a puddle of pee, mind you. That is pretty disgusting. And yes, they are my people, and yes, I'm working on that right now. Okay, so a liquid bottler over here. I was getting water for some exact reason. I don't quite remember why. I guess just to mass water. It's gonna be useful for something. I know it. Okay, space heater, heat production. So this thing is working. There is a heater. Check these levels. Um, power. There we go. We got some heat. Little circle of heat right there. Perfect. Maybe we should get some more heaters going on here. Goodness gracious, there is so much to this game. But, I am confident in my basic abilities to help everybody. So they're not building this quite yet. Or that. Or deconstructing any of this. Is there just too much work to do? Diarrhea. Ooh. That's nasty. Sore back diarrhea. Gross. Okay. Definitely want to get them some help. Get them a bed. Hmm. That didn't sound good. Okay, so where is like their bed and stuff? Obviously not in power or food, but okay. Ventilation? No. I mean, that's not where a bed would be. A med bed? Is that just for sleep? Seems like for medical reasons, but also looks like it could be used for sleep. Hey, someone's doing something over there. Perfect. And Bobbity is currently crying. Don't worry, Bobbity. Everything will turn out fine. Just you wait a little longer. Okay, I want to take someone exploring, but I uh, they've been having issues you know, just with trying to get a good settlement going, they had to keep coming back quick. Okay, well, everybody seems to have, be doing some kind of some kind of good thing going on right now. I don't want to stop any of them. Hmm. Oh goodness, Bibbity went down in the sewers. Oh, with a face of disgust. Now she is chilly. Okay, so I've got the space heater going. But, what more can I do with this? Should I just put more space heaters around? Maybe, maybe. You know what, we're gonna go ahead and do that actually. And heat rises, so maybe I should put one down here somewhere. Maybe another one over here, maybe a few more over here. I really don't know. But, I'm just gonna put one over here for now and another over here. Yeah, they've got their work pretty much cut out for them. Hopefully this thing produces more people. Next production in 1.3 cycles. Is that 1.3 days? What's a cycle? A motorcycle? Man, this stuff gets really confusing fast. Okay, so my latest issue is figuring out how to get this thing to work. 
One, it's unassigned, so I can assign someone. But two, it's unreachable. Now, I don't know why it's unreachable. Maybe it's because this spot right here. But we'll go ahead and see if I can get this figured out. Okay, just a quick update. Something awesome happened. I got my airflow tile used as a floor and wall tile to build rooms, blocks liquid flow without obstructing gas. There we go. So gas can move freely through the floors. Wait, blocks liquid? Oh goodness gracious, I should have noticed it says airflow. All right, so the main reason I wanted to get this in the first place was to place floor down here to which the P could fall through, but it turns out it's just for gases, which explains why it says air. Well, back to the drawing board. Looks like we got a newcomer coming through. Let's go ahead and get this person on our side. All right, someone athletic, someone with digging, and decent in learning in medicine. Ooh, if I reject all, does it rotate? Ooh, I don't know. I don't know if I reject all, will it uh, exchange? I feel like if I was to press reject right now, I would not get the option to choose anybody but I really need somebody right now. I don't think I have someone who fares in construction and there's a lot of work needing to be done right now so we'll go ahead and pick you. Well, he's very, very happy and his trait is Twinkle Toes but I want that to be his name. Twinkle Toes, perfect. All right, Twinkle Toes, welcome to the team. All right, so I found something else cool. Uh, I just started looking at these options a little bit more down here after reading some of the tips. So we were able to click on them off and quickly clean up some of the little puddles of pee. Also, in these, uh, this disinfect option, when you click on it, you get to choose the priority of, well, as it says right here, automatically disinfect any building with more than however many germs you put. So far it's at zero, so any time a building has germs, they'll eventually get around to that building and disinfect it. Now when you also click on it, you can see which building has germs. And this storage container right here has a lot of germs. It is pretty nasty. Um, so I have selected some of those things that have germs here. Uh, might as well select that wheel. And wow, this water pump has a lot of germs. But also, uh, your people glow too. This person is covered in germs as well this person. He has a little bit of germs and I can't see our other germy person. Somewhere on here is what it looks like. Yeah, so they're just walking little bodies of germs. So gotta fix that. All right, so the med bay turns out, at least I still don't know how to really use it, but it turns out that it's not really a regular sleeping place. It is a med bay. So I was just looking around and found the cot. So this is a usual sleeping place, so I will be making little houses somewhere over here. All right, looks like we have someone new coming through the portal, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video after I get our new duplicate. Ooh, six in cooking, five in digging, six in medicine. Okay, considering there has been an update, the uh, outbreak update, I really don't know much about it, but I do know that there is more of a sickness going around. So anyways, it's pretty, uh, pretty easy to pick here. Uh, we don't really need athletics at the moment, um, and this person, uh, all vitamin C in space, couldn't stop this duplicate from getting sick. Yikes, yeah, we really don't want that. So, this person has a six in medicine, we need a little bit of a doctor. So, let's go ahead and name him Who. Alright, and with Who now on our team, our little doctor, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. So this has been episode six of Oxygen Not Included. I hope you guys had a good time. And remember, if you like the video, please like the video. Show your support in that way or comment. You know, would you like to see another game played or, or whatever? Are you liking the series? Just let me know. All right, guys. See you next time.